a hardcover and it's called the dragon fruit sunflowers so this book seems to be illustrations throughout. It's always a fun surprise. A couple of dancing frogs. hidden behind coral detects a guppy swimming nearby and wants to chase down its next snack. It simply unspools itself as if a piece of ribbon candy has unfolded and softened in the sea. Or no. Screamy shot. 
Ribbon eels elongated leaf like nostrils set on each side of its snout help it detect food scurrying by in the low visibility on the ocean floor. The ribbon eel also has a scruffy yellow goatee, scruffy, scruffy, scruffy yellow goatee on its lower jaw, which stores all its taste buds. This is very promising. I like it. Seems like she's kind of intertwined um, a nature documentary with a personal biography. Sort of like talks both about the creatures and their own life. Crispy, crinkly binding. So, what do you think? when I was a kid.
was drawn in by the cover art of this one. I think it's so gorgeous. I like her belt and her boots and her pinstripe pants. Blood is 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 I also really like the font that the entire book is written in. I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe you can tell me. Maybe you can tell me what font that is. But I like it. I like the font. A ruthless young assassin. that in his little author Even though this book is extremely dramatic and violent, it has a heavy sense of humor throughout. It's very playful. Here's the map. I love when fantasy books include this. City of God's Grave. It's Black Bridge. Carrying Hall. Glande. Ashka. The Quiet. for her bridges to cling to. Not a beauty that 
Legend of Zelda has captivated players with its epic lore for over 30 years. Dark Horse Books and Nintendo proudly present an encyclopedia that includes information from the original 8-bit adventure all the way up to Twilight Princess HD. The Legend of Zelda encyclopedia is filled to the brim with knowledge waiting to be explored. Delve into the of Hyrule in the historical records. Explore a comprehensive collection of enemies, items, dungeons, and towns in the database. Read the story and developer notes of each game in the archives. so much 